Good evening and welcome to News Hour. My name is Cecil Nelson. Coming up in this edition of News Hour tonight, to monitor the distribution of the free health care drugs, Ministry of Health and Sanitation reviews metrics on the free health care drug supply. More than 40 journalists and training on media contribution to the better understanding of humanitarian issues in Sierra Leone. Norwegian charity food Sierra Leone hands over a four classroom block to the United Methodist Church Primary School in Wotawa, Pompeii. All these stories plus business and sports are packed up in this edition of News Hour. Students of Yoni Bana Secondary School have received scholarships from a non governmental organization based in the United States, Me Against Poverty. Here's the report. The chairman of the occasion, the director general of the SLBC, Elvis Banabum Hallowell, said education is getting more expensive every day. As a teacher and lecturer, he pointed out that most students do not perform well at school because they don't have a scholarship to help them tackle their financial obligations. He added that education is an important tool and stated that with the scholarships, parents could divert expenditure to other areas and the problem of thinking of money for fees could be a thing of the past. He stressed that if it were not for education, he would not have attained his present status. I am saying this because there are parents in this town today who are still the refuse for sending the children to school. And that is the greatest disservice you could do to this country. The chairman, Elvis Banner of Hallowell, gave a helping hand of 1.5 million leons to the Yoni Banner Secondary School. He said what Me Against Poverty has done should be an eye-opener to all and encourage parents to send their children to school so they could secure a brighter future. Making a statement, the founder and chairman of Me Against Poverty, Beresford Koka, gave a brief background of the organization. He said their motto, Educate to Eradicate Poverty, was deliberate because they believe it is only through education that several Union in Africa could kick away poverty. He stressed the importance of education and added that there are many parents who want to send their children to school but could not because of financial reasons. He went on to say that there are parents who on the other hand prefer to send their children to sell in the streets. He stated that Sevillion has about 65% illiteracy and only 35% is literate. It is closed that an American woman, Patrice Howard, who had never been to Sierra Leone donated the money for the scholarships. He called on Sierra Leoneans to show love to one another. The principal of Yoni Bana Senior Secondary School, Joseph S. Conte, in appreciation of the scholarships, said it is indeed a good venture MAP has taken to help students of their community. He thanked MAP for helping them to rebuild their schools, which was burnt down during the rebel war. He said the scholarship would help be a motivating factor for other students to study hard and pay more attention to their school work. A student of Yoni Bana Senior Secondary School, Mayatu Alaska Bangua, expressed heartfelt appreciation to MAP and added that they will make the best out of it. She promised, in behalf of her schoolmates, that they will seize the opportunity to become the leaders of tomorrow. Cecil Nelson, SBC News, Freetown. And now to tell us more about the scholarships we have in the studio, the founder and chairman of Me Against Poverty, Beresford Coca. Good evening and welcome to News Hour tonight. Beresford. Good evening, Mr. Nelson. Thank yes. you very much. Could we pleasure. start by you telling us how Me Against Poverty came about? Yeah, uh, thank you very much again. Uh, Me Against Poverty came about uh, three years ago, actually. Um, when I went to the States, I made a conscious effort to uh, help people back home in Sierra Leone. So um, 
I was part of the Facebook. I know you know about Facebook yes, and also course. Twitter. Yeah. Um, it's a social network. And uh, I thought about having something similar like that, but with the idea of having discussions centered around eradicating poverty. Okay. And um, so we started that network and then I identified people that exhibit a great passion to fight poverty and then we decided to make a more structured organization and that's how it was born. We started off with uh, Sierra Leoneans Against Poverty mm -hmm. but then uh, we decided that we want to make it more inclusive and personalize it and that's why we changed the name to Me Against Poverty. This was three years ago. February 18, 2009. Wonderful. Now, uh, Me Against Poverty, how do you guys fund sourcing? How do you create funds to help out in Sierra Leone and other parts of Africa? It's been a very, very difficult challenge, but uh, by God's grace, we know we're going to overcome and get through all the hurdles. Uh, primarily, we've been raising funds uh, by the board members. Uh, basically, we all contribute monthly. And also, um, we've organized a series of fundraising events in the Metro DC area, uh, which is Washington DC, Maryland, and Virginia. Um, in 2010, we held our first fundraising event. And also, uh, last year, we had a second fundraising event, which was very successful. And as I'm speaking to you right now, my board is ac actively planning our third fundraising event, which will be in July 21st of this year in uh, Maryland. Okay, Mr. Koki, you've just uh, uh, given out 20 scholarships to 20 students of the Yoni Banner Secondary School. How did you manage to do this? Uh, you know, I want to be really, really thankful to uh, a lady called uh, Patrice Howard. She's an African-American. Uh, she's never been to Sierra Leone. I'm not sure whether she's even been to Africa. She's a close friend of the Secretary of uh, Me Against Poverty. And uh, what happened is... Uh, in our first fundraising event, she played a pivotal role towards the success of that event. And uh, she's very passionate about helping kids. Okay. And so what she did, uh, she, she celebrated her 30th birthday anniversary last year. And instead of making a huge party bash, she decided to um, hold like sort of a dinner in a hotel in Washington DC. And people had to pay to enter for this dinner. And uh, the funds that were raised was divided between three organizations, of which uh, Me Against Poverty was one of the recipients. And uh, she gave us uh, graciously $1,500, of which uh, we've used $750 for this scholarship for the 20 students in Yoniban. Okay, most people might want to think that most organizations come over to Africa to exploit people. How honest and transparent is your organization, Me Against Poverty? Uh, the, Honesty and transparency is the core of our organization. Um, just to put things in perspective, I was born and raised in KC, Freetown. I've never been to Yoni Banner. Okay. And um, so um, when we decided that we were going to award a scholarship, it was a very transparent process because we've had stories where people handpicked the recipients of the uh, scholarships, and I don't think that's fair. Uh, so what we did is uh, make sure that we had a selection committee for the scholarship and we empowered this school board to make sure that they can select the best students. And at the end of the day, the final 20 students receive the scholarship, but we'll make sure that there's clear transparency. The problem we're having is uh, you know, dealing with uh, our counterparts here back home because it's, it's, it's a little different the way things are structured in the States versus here in Sierra Leone. But uh, as a whole, I'm very optimistic that uh, we're gonna move forward with the project in uh, Yoniban. Okay, Mr. Coker, now finally, what other plans have you, apart from giving out scholarships, apart from Yoni Banner, because Yoni Banner is not the only place in Sierra Leone, what other plans have you? We, we do have plans to go not only in uh, Sierra Leone, but to go beyond Sierra Leone. That's why we changed the name from Sierra Leone Against Poverty to Me Against Poverty, because we want to transcend beyond the border of Sierra Leone. Um, we're seeking our a, a first huge... Um, donor from uh, the United States to raise some huge funds so that we can expand on some projects. Uh, we have one project that I want to talk about just briefly, which is the, um, the Library and Computing Center in Yonibana, but hopefully we want to make sure that we, we go beyond Yonibana, Sierra Leone, and elsewhere in West Africa. Okay, well, 
Thank you very much for being with us tonight on the News Hour. Thank you very much. He is the founder and chairman of May Against Poverty, Briasford Coca.